Hey, so what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is August 5th, 2024, and welcome to the Real GS News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video, and we have a big breaking news. Red alert, the 4-5 predicts a major strike by Persia tonight. This is what he said. I'm hearing... There is going to be a massive event tonight by Persia on the Holy Land. They're going to be struck tonight. I'm telling you right now. I hear it through the same ways. No top secret information. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Let's see what's going on here, guys. If you can, please share this video. All right, so this here is a different, uh, this, this here is different. We're going to talk about this one, but over my new channel. All right, so we're not going to talk about this one in this channel here. Uh, I'm trying to keep this one uh, when it comes to biblical war news. Um, so once again, this information is trending. A lot of people talking about it. Um, Turner, how Turner posted uh, an article last night. He said the same thing too. He said tonight, 8 p.m. That's what he said, 8 p.m. Eastern time. There will be an event. All right, so uh, it says here, the former Sleeping Giant leader just said while on a live stream with internet personality Ross that he heard the Holy Land is going to get struck tonight. He said, I am confident that the 4 or 5 has access to that info. So it is possible that the information is correct. So I just posted a video not too long ago, the president in the situation room. It goes to tell you that there's a possibility there might be some big breaking news, huge breaking news tonight. All right, I wanna pull up this article here. Here we go. If you can, please share the video, give this video a thumbs up, and uh, make sure you check out the videos I posted today. So the 4 or 5 said, I'm hearing there's going to be some kind of huge event tonight. The former 4 or 5 told online internet personality, there's going to be a major event tonight by Persia and the Holy Land during a live stream. I'm telling you right now, I hear it through the same waves. No top secret info or anything. The former 4 or 5 said, if I were president, no one would even be talking about it because that wouldn't happen 100 percent for a fight continue so he said this many times if i were the president this would not be happening right now we would not be having this conversation there would not be no biblical wars going on out there but since it's the four six and the vp running the show stock market <laughs> utility could be the next one to crash <laughs> inflation Biblical Wars, WW3 could start tonight. And everybody's saying that Joe and the VP are the best ever. Yeah, the best ever when it comes to destruction. So it says here, the 4-6 administration informs sleeping giant lawmakers that Persia retaliatory strikes may happen as early as Monday or Tuesday. People familiar with the matter told the WP speaking on the condition of anonymity to discuss a sensitive security matter. Now, we heard, guys, we heard about this many times. Last week, they, say, they said on a Wednesday last week, in the next 72 hours, there will be a respond. Nothing happened. And then they said Sunday, there was going to be a respond. Nothing happened. Now, they're saying tonight, 8 p.m., 
Again, I'm just putting out the info. I'm not saying there's going to be something that's going to, you know, WW3 tonight. But all these information just coming out, we don't know the actual date. We have more breaking news. Blinken urges Mid-E allies to prevent escalation between the Holy Land and Persia. Now, again, they're working on this situation right now. They are urging Persia not to do it. Information is coming out that uh, it seems like the sleeping giant leader might lift all the sanctions that were slapped on Persia. They might do it. And Persia is going to be like, okay, you know what? Remove, lift them sanctions. I'm not going to fire at the Holy Land. That could be a game changer. The problem here is that the Holy Land will continue to take out their high rankings. If that happens, I believe the Sleeping Giant is going to wash their hands and say, Holy Land, you're on your own. We try working with you. You guys just want to continue with all this. So it says here, Mr. Blinken spoke with counterpart in the Mid-E on Monday in a bid to prevent any further biblical war between the Holy Land and Persia and its proxy organization. After Blinken spoke with uh, Qatari PM, um, man, that's a long name. Okay, so it says here, Foreign Minister, uh, State Department spokesman Matthew. So you have all those people uh, we're talking about this very important situation. We are at a critical moment for the region. We have been sending consistent messages. So the sleeping giants are sending messages to Persia uh, through our diplomatic engagement, encouraging people to communicate to the GOV of Persia. So Persia is not listening to the U.S. Persia is not listening to them. So it seems like it seems like the U.S. is sending messages to Persia, Persia allies, urging their allies to please speak to the gov of Persia and tell them not to, not to fire. It is important that all party take steps over the coming days to refrain from es you know what and calm tensions. Escalation is in one, no one's interest, Mr. Miller said, adding that the sleeping giant continues to make it clear to make clear it considers the GAZA ceasefire as crucial to calming broader tensions. Blinken has been reiterating that all parties need to look for reasons to say yes to an agreement, not look for a reason to delay or say no. The thing that bothers me about the sleeping giants is that you are willing to move heaven and earth for the yellow and blue country, Ukraine. You're willing to move heaven and earth, but you're not willing to do the same for the Holy Land? It goes to tell you the sleeping giant really don't like the Holy Land. Give me a second here, guys. Give me a second here. We have breaking news. Big breaking news. Sleeping giant forces hit. Again, there's a base housing sleeping giant forces. Two very powerful flying equipments will fire on Monday at this base, which hosts Sleeping Giant and other forces in Western Iraq. It was not clear if the event caused any casual or damage inside the base. One security source said that this object fell inside the base. Inside the base! Oh, man. Inside the base, that's where the sleeping giants are. They're inside. Oh, man. I pray that the sleeping giant soldiers and everyone else are fine.
we have more breaking news. According to the WP, the 4-6 administration has told sleeping giant lawmakers that they expect a Persia strike against the Holy Land as early as Monday or Tuesday. Once again, guys, I'm just putting out the information. And again, I'm not predicting anything here. But uh, they are saying either 8 p.m. Eastern Time till Tuesday. Uh, again, between Monday or Tuesday, there could be some kind of huge breaking news. All right, so... All right, um, a lot of people are sharing the information now. WP said the 4-6 informed Sleeping Giant lawmakers that Persia responds is expected to begin today or tomorrow. At the same time, this is happening. Stock markets, boom! Jobs numbers, boom! We are heading to WW, boom! <laughs> and we have two of the most, you know what, running the sleeping giant. Ah, buckle up. Buckle up. It seems like when November comes, they're going to give it to the four or five and everything is going to crash on him. They're just going to say, I mean, and I, I can see it right now. The year 2025, the four or five has the, uh, uh, literally destroyed the sleeping giant. The sleeping giant is already destroyed. They're just going to give it to the four or five and boom, everything will fall. Wow. The four or five is going to have to clean up the mess. And then once he's done doing his four years, he's going to go back to the LEFT. And they're going to, again, it's just a back and forth, back and forth. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, we are seeing something here. Please pray for the Sleeping Giant soldiers out there. Also, WW3, um, can hit the fan today, tonight, tomorrow, this week. At the same time, the stock market. Mm. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters and prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.